Hey, I'm JS. It's Miss Han. How are you doing? Today is Tuesday, May 26, 2020. I hope you enjoyed the long three-day weekend and only having four days of school this week. I want to take a moment and wish happy birthday to some of our friends. Harvathy and Nicholas S. in grade two are both celebrating a birthday today. I hope you guys have a great birthday. And now I'm going to share my screen so we can enjoy some jokes from Miss Wall. All right, let's see here. Here we go. Hi, everyone. It's Mrs. Wall. I have a couple jokes for you. The first one, a man walked into the doctor's office. He had a cucumber stuck up his nose. He had a carrot sticking out of his left ear and a banana sticking out of his right. And he said to the doctor, what's wrong with me? The doctor said, you're eating all wrong. Uh, you need help. Okay, and the second joke, did you hear the joke about the germ? germ joke. Never mind, I don't want to spread it around. Uh, Have a good day, everybody. Germs. Thanks, Ms. Wall, for sharing that. And now I'm gonna take a moment to do a read aloud. This story is called Just Ask, and it's by Sonia Sotomayor. She has a note at the beginning about how she has um, diabetes and as a child that made her different from other children. And so this story is about how there are lots of differences. And sometimes when you see a difference in someone, the best thing to do is just ask. Hi, I'm Sonia. My friends and I are planning a garden. Gardens are magical places. Thousands of plants bloom together, but every flower, every berry, and every leaf is different. Each has a different smell, different color, different shape, and different purpose. Some flowers need lots of sunlight. Others thrive in the shade. Some have to be trimmed regularly, while others are better left alone. Some trees and flowers are more fragile, and others are more hardy. Kids are all different too. Some of us are in a hurry and others take more time. Some of us seem shy and quiet while others are chatty and loud. Some of our differences are easy to spot. Others take longer to notice. Each of us grow in our, grows in our own way. So if you're curious about other kids, just ask. Not everyone is comfortable answering questions about themselves, but I don't mind. What am I doing? Several times a day, I prick my finger to measure the sugar in my blood, and I give myself shots of medicine called insulin. I do this because I have diabetes, and my body doesn't make insulin naturally like other people's. Even though this can sometimes hurt, I gather all of my courage to do it to be healthy. Do you ever need to take medicine to be healthy? Sometimes. I do. My name is Raphael and I have asthma, which means I sometimes have trouble breathing. When that happens, I take a break and use an inhaler with medicine to make breathing easier. Quiet time helps me slow down and catch my breath. My inhaler is like a tool to help my body. Do you use a tool to help your body? I'm Anthony and I use a wheelchair to get around. Even though I can't run with my legs, I can go super fast. How do you get from place to place? My name is Madison and my guide dog, Lucy, helps me get places safely because I'm blind. My friend Arturo is blind too. He uses a cane to get around. Even though we can't see, we strengthen our other senses and notice lots of details others may miss. We can hear with our ears, smell with our noses, and feel with our hands. How do you use your senses? I'm VJ. I learn about the world differently because I can see, but I can't hear. I'm deaf. Most of the time, I communicate with people using my face and hands through sign language. 
It's cool to know another language. I also love reading and writing. What about you? I'm Bianca and I have dyslexia. So I have to work really hard and take my time when I am reading and writing words. Sometimes I use computer programs to help me. I love learning by doing things. My imagination is full of ideas and I'm very good at making art from the pictures I see in my mind. Are you really good at something? Well, I'm building pet to win. You're a good pet owner, huh? I'm great at dinosaurs. I know all about them. I'm Jordan and I have autism. Organizing and counting all my toy dinosaurs again and again makes me feel calm. My classmate Tiana also has autism, but it's different for her. She doesn't talk, but I like to talk. I especially like to talk about dinosaurs. What do you like to talk about? For me, listening comes more easily than talking, and I'm a really good listener. My name is Ann, and I speak with a stutter, so I sometimes repeat a word or get stuck when I try to say it. It may take me a little longer to express myself, and sometimes I'm too shy to talk, but I understand everything that's going on. Do you ever wonder if people understand you? I do. My name is Julia. Sometimes I wiggle or make sounds that I can't control because I have Tourette syndrome. People may look at me funny because they think I am not paying attention or just acting out, but it's not true. I am listening. I don't always like to have to, I don't always like having to explain it frustrates me, but it helps when I tell people that it's just what my body does. Do you ever feel frustrated? My name is Manuel, and I have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. It is also called ADHD. I can get frustrated when I really feel the need to move around, even though I'm supposed to sit still. When my teachers and friends are patient with me, if I forget something or get distracted, I can get myself back on track. What's helpful to you? I'm Nolan. It's helpful to me when the food I eat has a clear label that says it's nut free because I'm allergic to nuts. They can make me so sick that I would have to go to the hospital if I ate any, even by accident. So I always tell people about my allergy and ask if any food has nut ingredients. Speaking up keeps me healthy. How do you use your voice? I love to sing and I love to talk. I love to make new friends and be included. I am Grace. I was born with Down syndrome. Kids like me with Down syndrome have an extra building block called a chromosome in our bodies but we are all different from each other too. I can do almost anything any other kids can do, though learning new things can take some time. One way I learn is to ask questions. What helps you learn? It's me, Sonia again. I ask questions too. When something seems different or new, I just ask my parents or teachers and they help me to understand, especially if my friends don't feel ready to explain. This is what I've learned. Imagine if all the plants in this garden were exactly the same. Like what if we could only grow peas? That would mean no strawberries or cucumbers or carrots. It might also mean no trees or roses or sunflowers. Just like in our garden, all the ways we are different make our neighborhood, our whole world really, more interesting and fun. And just like all of these plants, each of us has unique powers to share with the world and make it more interesting and richer. What will you do with your powers? I hope you enjoyed that book. I think it taught a lot about differences and how even though everyone's different, everyone is special, right? And great having them part of the group. So I'm really missing all of you guys at the MJS community. Have a great day.